Hi, welcome to another episode of Amna Guru. You can call me Kat, and today I will be showing you how I make salted caramel almonds. Now, this is quite a healthy and easy snack to make, and it does not take that much time. In fact, it only takes five minutes and uses four ingredients. Now, these almonds can even be added to your favorite veggie stir fry or porridge. For me, I like to do both. Another thing is that I'm also trying to go on a diet or try to lose weight. So what I've done is I've counted the calories for this particular snack and it's uh, the measurement of the calories or the total calories is for 120 grams of almonds. You can find the description of the calories above here. And the macros here. Now that we're done with that, let's go on to see how we make this. Now what makes this recipe easy and quick to make is that I have the assistance of my handy air fryer. It browns the almonds quickly and evenly. You will also need a wok or any deep fry pan. You will need 120 grams of almonds, 15 grams of butter, 2 tablespoons of caster sugar and 1 teaspoon of sea salt. Now the first thing that you need to do is to place the almonds in an air fryer, spread them evenly and set the temperature at 180 degrees Celsius to cook for 3 minutes. They should end up looking something like this. Okay, I've switched on the fire and the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to melt the butter. Okay, this is 15 grams of butter, just enough that we measured. And just make sure that the fire is not too high because we don't want the butter to go brown, we just want to melt it. Once we've done this, what we need to do next is to quickly add in the caster sugar. Alright, so quickly add the caster sugar in and continually stir the caster sugar until it turns brown and starts to caramelize a little. It shouldn't take too long and you should have your almonds on standby, basically. Okay. I'm not even using a cooking thermometer for this. Just a matter of estimating. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to brown a little. Okay. And this is when you actually want to turn down the heat a little bit more because it'll probably start browning a lot faster after this. And you have your almonds ready. Excuse me, sorry. And even if it smokes a little bit, that's fine. As you can see, it's starting to caramelize. And what you do is you stop and stir it. that all the almonds are fully coated in the sugar and so as you can see it's smoking it's already starting to smoke and you can turn off the fire and what I need to do right now while it's still hot is to just add in the sea salt I'm just going to do this quickly, spread a bit of sea salt. And 
just so, as you can see it's already starting to harden. The almonds are ready and I am going to try and taste one by catching it in my mouth. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I managed to do that. Mmm, they're really nice. They're crunchy and they have a slight saltiness as well as sweetness to them. I think you would enjoy them as a snack and I would recommend that you try this recipe. So until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Click uh, like, share and subscribe. Bye.